Hey, Turbo! I bet you pee in it. Yeah, sometimes. It's all pipes. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. How are you? What, what was for dinner today, Turbo? Good to see you. Ew. Well, it's all pipes. It doesn't matter. never eaten at a rallies before. What'd you have? Tell me about rallies. Is it related to racks? Checkers for all the freaks out there. <laughs> Is it related to checkers? I never ate a checkers either. Rally burger, fish sandwich, fries, cinnamon apple pie, and Mr. Pib. Nice, Mr. Pib. That's like the southern version of Dr. Pepper. Rallies and checkers are the same like Hardee's and Carl's Jr. Okay. Same company owns them? Okay. Did not know that. They're the exact same restaurant. Like, they can't be, really? They're the same? Why would they be named different then? Different, oh, region, okay, gotcha. Rallies and checkers. So where are checkers? Are checkers out west? I wonder. Well, I'm out of ideas. I thought this is where I had to go. Oh, 
Oh, for sure, this is it. The secret gathering place. Seeking spell. Holy cross. Where did I get the holy cross at? Uh, I'm not sure. I went to Checkers near Nashville before. I'm not sure where the cutoff is, but we have rallies. Okay. So I wonder what... Have you ever eaten in a Rax before? R-A-X? So this picture is basically this. Behind the waterfall, fairy spring, seeking spell, final treasure. No, you haven't? There used to be one near me growing up in Indiana, PA. I think we ate there once. I remember it being really salty. So... Your mom's salt. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <sighs> A mom joke, really? Really? So maybe we need. I got that one. I don't think I found these two. Golden Path. It's no joke. Oh, Jesus, jeez. Fairy Spring, go behind here. Holy Cross. Seeking Spell. Secret Gathering Place. Final Treasure. She's a pretzel. <laughs> Mom is not a pretzel. <laughs> It's not a pretzel. Up, left, up, right, down, right. I don't think I have anything to... I had some pretzels the other day. Rolls gold. They're good stuff. How's uh, Yakuza coming along, Turbo?
already got that.
up, right, down, left, down.
have to add 49. Teal. Hey, there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. How are you? Good to see a zip zoop zuba zoop hop. That's some words. Good to see ya. How's everything going? Well, thank you, friend. How are you? I'm doing okay. You know, it could be worse, could be better. I am trying to figure out this game. I beat it, but I'm trying to get the good ending. Oh, you've played Tunic. It's driving me crazy, Rotil. I beat the last boss, but I'm missing two more pages. I have to get the golden treasure. I just found three treasures. I found out this fairy song. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know where to go. I am enjoying it and I'm not enjoying it. I don't like the combat. 
I feel super smart when I figure something out. And I just figured out that you have a, a have a um parry. Would have been nice to know about five hours ago. Found about out, out about sleeping around five hours ago. Uh, so does anything change if I? Treasures. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sleeping. Hey, Zard. Brian has not slept in 44 years. No, I sleep. Sleeping game or sleep. I think he's saying games. I think he's making a joke that I found out how to sleep five hours ago. And he's making a joke. He's taking it literally. Don't don't listen to Zard, uh, right tail. He he's cracking wise. He's a funny guy. Funny guy. Good to see you, Zard. Hope everything's A-OK -okay with you. I beat the game this morning. So now I'm just trying to get the golden path. So when you beat the game, they give you an option to go back and collect the four pages I was missing. I, I need... I found two more, I need two more pages. I think there's something to do with this chime thing. There's a...
a funnier character than we've had before. Tunic. Fig figures that you go back to get the good ending in a game you don't like all that much, but not for one you do. Examples, please. No, I got the good ending in Dragon Quest XI Rift Hill. Got it. Oh, Mr. Spanger. Well, that's just monotonous. I got, I, I, I got the ending and I just looked it up online. That's fine. I like mischief makers, not enough to do the good ending. Shake, 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 shake. Marina Lightyear. I like that every time somebody says mischief makers, somebody else says shake, 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 shake. Light years. I think it's light year. Is is it light years? My mistake. Marina light year. I should play Catherine. Oh, that's a puzzle game where you're climbing a tower, right? And you're an otaku? Brian talked about edging before, so I think he has played it. <laughs> yeah. I know about Catherine. I remember seeing the cover of it for 360 when I worked at a game store all the time. Shake, shake. Shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Are you a Catherine sort of guy or a Catherine sort of guy? Um, well, I knew a girl named Kathy. So I'll say Kathy with a K. Catherine with a K. I knew a girl named Kathy. Great choice. Nice. Catherine, you marry Catherine. You don't introduce your... You don't introduce to your parents. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that kind of checks out. The girl I knew, Kathy, was with, with a th with a C. And I don't know what cho the right choice is in the game, but And then there's Rin, who has amnesia. Oh, you're talking about the game. Uh, see, I've never played. I know it stars in Otaku. I don't know the guy's name. He looks like Spike Spiegel, whoever he is. Game changes based on your choices, which directs to the ending with either of the Rins. Uh, I thought it was a puzzle game. He doesn't? Are you sure? He kind of looks like Spike Spiegel, I thought. He's skinny, pompadour, or uh, afro. Well, I could be mistaken. Yeah, it's a puzzle game, but why does it have so much story? Cathedral Moonlight, big fight.
puzzle game can have a story? You're right, there's Dr. Mario with aliens and stuff. I guess you're right. Ryan tries to play Persona 5, gives up after two hours. Yeah, Persona's not my bag, baby. Thank God for that. Why, you don't think I'd like Persona? I don't think I would either. Yeah, it's good to see you, Ginro Tail. I was, I was uh, wondering about you about a month ago. How you been? Good to see you're doing good. He should play a real man's game like Shin Megami Tensei. E Neon Genesis Evangelion. I still checked on to see what you were streaming, but never logged in. Play Oni for PS2. Oni? That's that PS2 launch game by, um... Who did Oni? Are you a Ritsuko kind of guy or a Misato kind of guy? Um... I don't know. I'm going to say neither because I don't know who they are. Rockstar. Oh, Rockstar did Oni? Really? I didn't know it was them. I was thinking of somebody else. Retail, my experience with PS2 is like Dragon Quest VIII, a little bit of Final Fantasy X, Wild Arms Three, and God Hand. And Maximo. And Rygar, the legendary adventures. In Castlevania, Lament of Innocence. That's it. Base God Hand Enjoyer. But God Hand was a trip. Gene. Oh yeah, Curse of Darkness. I played that on Xbox, though. But yeah, that, that's... That's a PS2 game, too. Yeah. Yeah, I played Curse of Darkness on stream, but that was on Xbox, so I don't really count it. Your memory is bad? Oh, wait, what's this? Uh, right up, left up. Hold on. We got something here. Um... A second. I like me some Misato. She's cute. Have you progressed? Yes, I beat it and I found some. I found a thing if you cr hit the directional pad in it. So, okay. Hi, Ninja. See the things on the wall? That's the direction you gotta hit the directional pad. And I found that out. I also found out I had a block button. 
that I could have used to make life easier. I just found that out. And I, I beat the game this morning, so now I'm trying to get the good ending. You really played the entire game without blocking, huh? That sounds like something you would have... Well, no, I've blocked, but I also have this parry block, which stuns enemies. I didn't know about that. Um, I guess I made it sound dumber than I was, but I was pretty dumb. Don't get me wrong. Up, left, up, right, down, right. Down, right, up, left, up, right. Is there something that told me about this? You're not dumb, you just didn't have a use for it. That, that, yeah, well, I guess so. Yeah, I, I, it would have helped me with... No, I would have messed up the parrying on the last boss. I'm only, so when you beat the game, they give you a chance to go back and collect the missing pages. I'm missing two pages. makes games more difficult for himself. Something, yeah, yeah. I do sometimes. Ryan mode difficulty activated. So you guys see the um, pattern on the wall here? So that's correlated to a button press. I've done this for a number of gates, half a dozen or so now. This one I can't get to work. So I think you're supposed to start at the circle and move down.
Why isn't this working? So why isn't this one working? There's something I gotta do in here, but I don't not quite sure. I bought the hourglass from in here.
Maybe I have to be alive to do this one. Let me go back and sleep. Bum bum ba da bum, ba ba da ba bum bum ba da bum, ba 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 bum bum ba da bum. Bum 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 When you actually learn the game, yeah, it's taken me a while. I still don't know the game the way I should. So this is like, I don't know, why isn't this one working? Am I missing something? Thank you. 
I don't know what this is, whatever this is, it has to do with that door. I guess that, I thought that was a windmill, but it's not. I don't know, I'm running out of ideas of what to do.
60 seconds, huh? Let's try this. It seems like you understanding it better. I'm gonna head back and play some lame quests. So I'm I'm understanding it a little bit better, but I'm stuck again.
hell is that?
Well, I don't know. Forty nine.
there something underneath that? King of Games, Jeff. Hello. You're role playing. You're role. You're role playing a frantic child right now as you flip through these pages. Where is it? That's right. I'm trying to figure out where to go, Jeff. I'm lost. I beat the game. Now I'm trying to get the missing pages and figure out what to do to get ending B. You, Bryo. Is that a Yu-Gi-Oh reference? Jeff. Okay, this windmill. Something's up with this windmill. And I got this. Left, up. Left, up, down, right. Which way do I go? Which order do I go? I don't know. Oh, wait, that's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference? King of Games? They call him the King of Games? Yu-Gi-Oh! literally means translates to Game King? I never, really, I never knew that. So it's called Game King.
I thought it was like a play on Pokemon. Isn't Yu-Gi-Oh like Pokemon? Uh, left up, right down. Left up, right down. Am I missing something here? Here goes my rant. What did I do? Don't, don't just suppress it, Zard. You don't have to rant. Just suppress it. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Suppress it. I know it's hard. I know it's hard when I say something stupid, but just suppress it. Left up, right down. Maybe he's showing it going through the back. Oh, maybe down, right, up, left. Oh no. Wall of text incoming. Oh no. <clears throat> uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! was a manga far before it was a card game. Duel Monsters is a card game based on magic and wizards. A game featured in the manga as one of many Yugo, Yugi plays. For all intents and purposes. Is it intents and purposes or intensive purposes? I always thought it was intensive purposes. This game is a ripoff representation of... Okay, I knew that. Magic the Gathering. It was made in America in the early 1900s. 1990s. And involves role playing as wizards and magical tools. The game in real life also downstream is also downstream of Magic the Gathering, and from what I know, it plays similarly. I have never played either game. Okay. I've played or tried to play Magic the Gathering. I had a friend who w went to Magic tournaments, so he had a lot of Magic cards. Uh, we used to go do laundry, and he used to play Magic. Suppressing your emotions instead of dealing with them is an unhealthy coping mechanism. Well, is it really unhealthy to, like, 
suppress when I say something stupid not to respond to it? Is that unhealthy? Intensive purposes is the correct... Okay, then I was... Okay. So why isn't this... Why isn't this working? I don't... I'm running out of... I might be done with this game. I thought I'd give it another shot because I had a shot of adrenaline in me from beating it this morning. And I got some... Un I found out what the Holy Cross directional path... Holy Cross they're talking about isn't a treasure. It's the D-pad on the PlayStation controller. And you move it in the direction that you see on the walls and doors. I was looking for a treasure the whole time. It's not... The treasure was what I had the whole time under my thumb. It's the directional pad, the holy cross. You have to move inputs on the D-pad. It was right under my nose the whole time. Maybe the real tunic was the friends we lost. Lost along the way. Isn't it the friends we made along the way? Is that a... It bothers me that people think Yu-Gi-Oh! is just a card game. When I refer to Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean the manga. Okay. My mistake, then. The Monsters is easily the worst part of Yu-Gi-Oh! Which makes its popularity in real life ironic to you. So, Duel Monsters is the anime. that stuff. Well, we might start a new game tomorrow. I'm running out of ideas of what to do. I beat the game. I'm satisfied. I don't think I'm so, I have the mental fortitude to figure out what the game wants me to do. Get, uh, unlock ending B.
Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? A little too ironic. So I really do think. It's like rain on your wedding day. It's a free ride when you've already paid. It's good advice that you just can't take. And who would have thought it figured? Mr. Will I am. Thank I didn't know the last part. Thank you, Mr. Will I am. Coming in when I needed them the most. Nice. How are you? Good to see you again. I beat the game, Mr. Will I am. And now I'm trying to get ending B. You're welcome. Thank you again. That's Uncle Jesse's, Uncle Joey's girlfriend from uh, Full House. Cut it out. Made of wood? Actually, you're not wrong. Dual Monsters is the name of the Studio Gallup Cave, their adaptation of Yu Gi Oh! manga. But it later became the name of the card game as it's seen in the manga itself. It's kind of confusing. I just don't think Dual Monsters is that interesting in terms of storytelling after a certain point. You're talking about the manga. It's the least important. So what? Not too bad. Congrats. Sorry I missed it. Glad you're doing good. Yeah, I did it this morning. So... Hold on. Up. Up. Is that a path? Yeah. Thank you for the congratulations. I'm beating Tunic. I was explaining to Zard, I don't think I have it in me to get the ending B. I don't have the mental fortitude to put this together. I don't think I'm going to recall anything about this game in a week. Me neither. <laughs> That's why if I put it, like if I'm gonna get the good ending, it's now or never. Like, if I put it down, I'm never going to get the good ending. Never. I remember more about Revenge of Shinobi. I enjoy Revenge of Shinobi quite a bit. What do you remember about Revenge of Shinobi? The boss that is in the background and fires, like, missiles at lasers at you in the sludge? Or the Godzilla fight? Or the last boss with your girlfriend being crushed? You like that game back in the game? Yeah, I finished it for the first time last year. The good ending, too. It was tough, but fun. Benjamin Shinobi is a good game. I already did this one. 
caught a treasure for it. John Shinobi has to save his girlfriend, Jane Shinobi. I don't think that's their names. No relation. Godzilla needed to throw knives into the wall to prevent being crushed, etc. Okay, so you do remember it. The music on the dock stage. Shinobi dock stage music? Oh yeah, you did like that music. Is that the one that goes do 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 It's called a cry. I originally had Batman and Spider-Man as well as, as end of level bosses, but they had to update it over copyright. Yes, and I thought my copy had the updated one, but no, it was the original with Batman, Spider-Man, and Godzilla in it, which was kind of a nice treat. It's called Across the Bay. The one that sounds like Flying Battery Zone as well, I mean. Across the Bay bears no resemblance to fly. It does or it doesn't. Oh, this, yeah. song. It's a good song. Well, guys, you just said it doesn't, so it doesn't. Okay. Oh, wait, the one that's there's one that's you're saying one that sounds like flying battery zone, not the dock bay stage, but one of them does. Well, I don't know what to do. I think we might be done with this game. I don't know what to do to get ending B. I found out what Holy Cross was. It doesn't work in the place where I got the hourglass. I'm missing two pages, which I have no idea where they're at. They could be anywhere. Indeed. Indeed. We have a note about a windmill. I don't, the code doesn't work here.
down, right, up, left. Time to play a better game, it seems. Yeah, we might be moving on to Kudzu tomorrow. And I don't want to look up the solution, because the, the whole point of the game is to figure it out yourself. That's like, because I don't like the combat in the game. The, the finding out the secrets was kind of cool. That was the best part of the game. And I don't want to ruin that for me. So I'll never know. I'll never know. And that's going to drive me insane. Like, it's just going to keep me wondering. Like, I'm going to be... On my deathbed wondering this. Wait a minute. Why are there things on the windmills? Actually, effing chicken scratch drawing scanned and imported into the game. <laughs> F them. Yeah. This is what I'm supposed to figure out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, what else could that be, right? They're saying at the one... Go left. I figured out this one down here. You can freeze that thing, that treasure I was looking for yet last night. You have to freeze the enemy, then you can hook shot up there, and I got that treasure. This one, I'm not sure even what this is. Is the windmill even turning in the right direction? It's not. It's turning counterclockwise. They have it on a drawing showing going clockwise. Yeah, it's going counterclockwise. You're correct. It wants to be going... Maybe I gotta go clockwise? Maybe I need to use the whip thing. Oh, that's a good idea.
Do you have to imagine the icons in the reverse pattern? Oh. So you're saying instead of going clockwise, go right up, the left down? What do the notches in the sills mean? I don't know. Um, why do you call those things? They're blades of the fan. What do you call them? Down, right, up, left. Wait, I must start with right. Right, up, left, down. Yeah, I guess they're blades. Can you write them down? Well, they're already written down here. Oh, wait, the notch. Oh, there are notches on. You're right. probably is what determines the rhythm of your button presses surely they wouldn't have no they wouldn't have you do a timing a rhythm game in this game would they 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 haven't done that yet no they wouldn't do that game designers wouldn't be that sick to like throw a rhythm game 10 hours into the game So when a notch still passes, you press the button it is associated. Oh, wait. Oh. Worth a shot. So a notch to left would be left. Up is up. Right is right. Down is down. But there's two. And one of them doesn't have a notch. The only problem I see is that the windmill is going the wrong way. It's 
the one without a notch might be the start and end of the pattern. Okay. Wait, they do have... Wait, all of them do have notches. There's just a tiny notch. I don't know. Yeah, why is it going counterclockwise? I shouldn't be wasting magic? Okay, we'll just refill it up. See, good as new. Okay. That's why I said to write them down so you can see the code while the windmill turns in real time. This... Yeah, see, so I need to know that... Well, no, left is left, up is up, right is right, down is down. And they're pointing to a notch on here, is where you start with the one on the right. You can't grab onto the rope. Um, if you can, I don't know how to do it without the grappling hook. I'm looking at the bottom cells. That's what I thought. But why is there... And I want to start with the one on the right, right? Oh, they loop to the top ones as soon as they get back to the beginning. So once you get back to one, it goes to the top. Okay. <laughs> Sacred geometry. Thank you. That's another trophy. That is some cryptic stuff. So see, so the line, so what was wrong? Okay, you start here. See at the bottom, they want you to start at the right, that little thing. You go around on the bottom, like you were right about that. So you go, you go counterclockwise or clockwise on the bottom pane. And when it gets to your starting point, there's a line that shows you to go to the top. So then you go up to the two and you enter the top 
part of the blades. Right, left, down, right, up, down, and then that's the end where it says two. So you start at the bottom, so this you start here on the part on the right, you go down, left, left, up, up, right, and then the rope says, okay, you're done. Now go up to the top blade, up, right, left, down, right, up, down, and that's the end. Yeah, the rope, we did it, gamers. <laughs> we did it, yeah. And the rope is to show you when to loop. Yes, correct. So the arrows on the code weren't supposed to be representing clockwise. You're correct. The arrows on the code tell you the notch direction. So the, it's the notch on the blade. That one says down, a corresponding direction, down, right, up. And they're saying start with the notch on the right and enter around clockwise. See the arrows? And then when you get to the start, go to this inner blade, the top blades on the, on the arrows. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. See a musical note there? There is a room with music. I think that was the first song I've heard in this game. What when it when it completed the treasures do I have to get? Hold on. Well, we got four. We just need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Oh, when I went to the bedroom, okay. This song. Oh, there's a pattern on the there's a pattern on this. Yeah, I need eight more. See, there's a pattern on here.
Oh yeah, that, what was that? What the hell? What am I doing? I'm a huge fan of this lo-fi ambient song, non-sound soundtrack Sarah we're living in. I mean, the music grew on me. It's not my favorite. I found a fairy. Wait a minute. So if I go back here... the fairy gathering place, right? So there should be one fairy here? Is that what this is about? There is. Souls returned one. Does that lead us to the fairies? Gotta come back and say it gives me big indie dude guy vibes who like a certain popular games. Anyway, any more progress? Yeah, we solved the puzzle. We got a fairy. How are you supposed to know this? So these show us where the fairies are? Say we because Brian would have given up and not have a completed the puzzle without gracious and in ingen that's right, true. I was about ready to stop until uh Zard nudged me in the correct direction. jobs are now the game will go on even longer yeah i was about ready to stop and play another game but now zard has me in the mood to keep going now he got me he nudged me in the right direction see this one we saw holy cross in here we got that but there's a treasure room down here that's where the treasure room is that's what that means in the bed, you can go in here, go behind here. We did this, so we got that. We got this, we got this one I figured out. We got this one thanks to Zard helping me. So we need this one. Okay, Zard, work your magic. What's this mean? You're right. Welcome. I thrive on Brian continuing his suffering. <laughs> this just tells me that John Tunic is illiterate and has to draw everything. <laughs> 
So we have to do the cross somewhere here. I've seen this before. More like runic. This is in the ruined atoll. I had no idea you led me you led me to the windmill. Oh okay, I got so you I have to do everything for you, huh? Okay, so I'll lead you here to I think this is in the ruined atoll. Is that this? I already told you I don't remember anything about this game. I was asking myself that question. Looks a bit like it, yeah. So I don't remember a place to enter a code in this area. Yeah, there's musical notes around it, correct. There's also the chickens around it, which there's chickens in this area. And there's numbers or... Uh, Well, I'm not going to get anywhere tonight. I'm too tired. I'm going to save. I think I can gather at least two runes now. You can? Based on the assumption at least. What what do you mean? Oh yeah. Top left. One northwest, two northeast, three southwest, four southeast. Back to the map. Hmm. 
Bum 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 bum. Yeah, numbered columns, I see that. They are patterned. There are four runes you can learn there. The ones for possibly north, south, east, and west. They also correspond to the runes on the green dials of the bottom left, so I believe that's a compass. Oh. That's that's not green, that's brown. I see. I still don't know what to make of that, though. Like, what do I do with that information? One north plus west. North plus east. Three south plus west. South plus east. Great, but... I see what you're saying, but... Oh. Yeah, there are musical notes around it. I'm too tired to think tonight. I know think anymore. Me sleep. Me go sleepy. Shut off brain. Okay, thanks for joining me. Ninja, thanks if you're still here. Zard. Mr. Will I Am. Jeff was here. I'm gonna go. Let's see if Jeff's streaming. I haven't raided anybody in a while. I keep forgetting to raid people. He is. Let's go let's go raid Jeff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. I don't know if I'll continue this or not. Maybe I'll start Kudzu. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna raid Jeff. Everybody have a great night. Thanks for joining me and keep me company. Thanks for your help. Take care. Bye-bye. Be nice. <laughs>